can you tell where we are and how much respect do you have for, for this designer, oh, yeah. Frank? Oh, we're, we're on the roof of the Louis Vuitton Foundation yeah. uh, building that uh, Frank Gehry designed that opened a year ago. And up here, when I'm up here, it's so melancholy and it's so beautiful and it's ten times better than the Eiffel Tower. And I, I can't really stand the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, I'm so glad I came here today because I've always wanted to come here last year. And it's the first time I managed to get here. Wow. And it's it's such so beautiful up here. And even there's no galleries open, and yet you can just I don't know wonder and, and experience the the cacophony of Gary's work. What? Which, by the way, he's getting a lot of criticism lately. Why? I, and, I don't know, some sort of jealousy of other of the architecture community or something because he was so successful. Yeah. People saying, oh, his work is so 90s and all this. His work wasn't 90s. His work was completely original. And he's one of the few real originators in the history of architecture. Right? Whether one likes it, doesn't like it, it's unlike anything than anybody else does. Yeah. And the beauty is he also has such integrity that he's stuck with it. You know, yeah. Whereas most architects you'll see, the, and designers, you'll see their work perpetually changing with trend. Get he it. just avoided trend. I think that's, and you know, if you're a true artist and a true originator, that's what you have to do. You have to kind of go deep into your soul and find what your original fingerprint is and just do it for the rest of your life because uh, if you follow trend, you're doomed. <laughs>